Hello and welcome back to our channel at NBO underscore Ben. In the heart of South Sudan's central swamps lies a vibrant and resilient community known as the Dinka. With a population of over 4.5 million, the Dinka people have a rich cultural heritage and a fascinating history that spans centuries. This video takes you on an immersive exploration of this remarkable group, shedding light on their origins, religious practices, social structure, and their deep connection to their cattle. <laughs> The origins of the Dinka people are deeply rooted in the vast savanna country surrounding the central swamps of the Nile Basin. Their migratory history is a testament to their adaptability and resilience in the face of changing landscapes. For centuries, the Dinka have traversed the grassy plains and sought fertile pastures for their cattle. Their migrations were driven by the need for sustenance and the quest for better grazing lands. Through generations, they honed their knowledge of the land mastering the art of navigating across vast distances. The Dinka's ancestral paths can be traced back to the ancient Nilotic civilizations. They are closely related to the newer people, both sharing a common heritage within the eastern Sudanic branch of the Nilo-Saharan languages. Despite the geographical expanse of the Dinka territory, with its diverse dialects, there exists an underlying bond that unites them as a people. As they migrated, the Dinka formed independent groups, ranging in size from 1,000 to 30,000 individuals. These groups organized themselves based on regional, linguistic, and cultural affiliations. The Agar, Aliab, Bor, Rek, Twik, and Maliwal clusters are among the most prominent, each with its distinct customs and traditions. Throughout their migrations, the Dinka developed a profound connection with the land and its resources. They observed the seasonal changes learning when to move their herds to riverine pastures during the dry season. This symbiotic relationship between the Dinka and their environment enabled their survival in the often harsh conditions of the savanna. The Dinka's nomadic lifestyle allowed them to adapt to the rhythm of nature. They established temporary settlements during the rainy season, taking advantage of the savanna forests to cultivate their food crops, primarily millet. These settlements served as focal points for social interactions and the exchange of knowledge, fostering a sense of community and shared identity. Despite the vastness of the Dinka territory and the diversity of their dialects, there has always been a recognition of the importance of intra-group unity. In the face of external challenges and potential threats, the Dinka have historically come together, forging bonds that transcend linguistic and cultural differences. Through their migrations, the Dinka people have imprinted their indomitable spirit upon the vast landscapes of South Sudan. The physical appearance of the Dinka people is as striking as their rich cultural heritage. Renowned for their tall stature, they stand as a testament to the diversity of human physiognomy. The average height of the Dinka is notably above the global average, with many individuals surpassing 6 feet, that is 1.8 meters and above. This remarkable height has often captured the fascination of outsiders and intrigued anthropologists sparking debates about its origins and significance. Various factors contribute to the remarkable height of the Dinka people. Genetics undoubtedly play a role, as tall parents tend to pass on their height to their offspring. However, it is important to note that not all Dinka individuals are exceptionally tall, as there is still a range of heights within the population. Apart from genetic factors, nutrition and environmental conditions also contribute to the physical development of the Dinka. The abundance of fertile grasslands and access to nutritious food sources have traditionally provided the Dinka with a balanced diet, essential for healthy growth. Furthermore, 
the Dinka's lifestyle as transhuman pastoralists, constantly on the move with their herds, demands physical strength and endurance. Their daily activities involve tending to their cattle, which includes tasks such as herding, milking, and the construction of temporary shelters. Such physical demands may have influenced their muscular development and overall physique. The towering height of the Dinka not only reflects their physical attributes, but also carries cultural significance. Within Dinka society, height is often associated with beauty, strength, and nobility. Tall individuals are revered and admired, embodying ideals of power and authority. It is important, however, to avoid reducing the Dinka people to a mere physical stereotype. While their height is an intriguing characteristic, it is only one facet of their multifaceted culture. The Dinka possess a wealth of traditions, customs, and values that define their identity beyond their physical appearance. The Dinka people are deeply rooted in spirituality, with religious practices and beliefs intricately woven into the fabric of their daily lives. Their intense devotion to their gods and ancestral spirits forms the bedrock of their cultural identity. Central to the Dinka's religious framework is their belief in a supreme deity known as Nayal. Nayal is revered as the creator and sustainer of the universe, the divine force that governs all aspects of existence. The Dinka attribute their well-being, prosperity, and protection to the benevolence of Neil. In addition to Nile, the Dinka hold a deep reverence for ancestral spirits. They believe that their ancestors continue to watch over them, guiding and protecting them from the spiritual realm. Ancestral spirits play an integral role in the lives of the Dinka, influencing decisions, providing wisdom, and ensuring the well-being of the community. The Dinka engage in various rituals and ceremonies to honor their gods and ancestors. Sacrifice holds particular significance in their religious practices. Whether it be a simple offering or a grand ceremonial event, sacrificial propitiation serves as a means of seeking divine favor and appeasing the spirits. The occasions for sacrificial rituals can range from mundane matters to significant life events. The Dinka believe that any transgression, from a lie to a murder, can disrupt the delicate balance between the human and spiritual realms. Therefore, rituals of propitiation are conducted to restore harmony and rectify any disturbances. In times of hardship, such as drought or disease, the Dinka turn to their religious practices for solace and divine intervention. They engage in prayers, chants, and invocations, seeking the intercession of Nial and the ancestral spirits. The religious leaders, often priest chiefs known as masters of the fishing spear, play a crucial role in facilitating these rituals and guiding the community in matters of faith. Spiritual leadership is highly esteemed within Dinka society. The priest chiefs hold positions of authority and are regarded as the mediators between the earthly realm and the divine. Their validation comes through elaborate myths and traditions that trace their lineage back to the ancestral spirits, cementing their role as conduits of spiritual guidance. Religious practices are not confined to formal rituals, but are integrated into the fabric of everyday life. The Dinka seek the blessings of Nile and the ancestral spirits in various aspects, such as agricultural activities, marriages, and communal gatherings. They offer prayers and invoke divine assistance to ensure success, protection, and harmony. The spiritual realm is an integral part of the Dinka's cultural landscape, shaping their values, customs, and social dynamics. The transition from boyhood to manhood holds a special place within Dinka culture, marked by age-old ceremonies that shape the identity and roles of young Dinka males. These rites of passage are a testament to the Dinka's rich cultural heritage and their deeply ingrained traditions.
The journey into manhood for Dinka boys begins with a period of preparation and anticipation. When a group of boys of similar age reaches a certain stage in their physical and emotional development, they are deemed ready to undergo the rites of passage together. This collective experience fosters a sense of camaraderie and shared growth among the young initiates. The first step in the process involves the boys undergoing a series of hardships and challenges. These tests are designed to instill discipline, resilience, and endurance in preparation for their adult responsibilities. The boys may endure physical tasks, such as enduring long treks or performing arduous labor, while also being taught essential life skills and cultural knowledge. Central to the Dinka rites of passage is the abandonment of the activity of milking cows, which had symbolized their role as children and servers of men. This act represents the relinquishment of childhood privileges and the assumption of adult responsibilities. It marks the threshold between dependency and autonomy as the young initiates step into the realm of adulthood. Once the trials and preparations are complete, the Dinka boys are ready for the culminating event, the ceremonial celebration of their transition into manhood. This ceremony is a vibrant and joyous occasion filled with dancing, singing, and feasting. It serves as a public affirmation of their newfound status and a recognition of their growth and maturity. During the ceremony, the boys are adorned in traditional attire and intricate body decorations, reflecting their elevated status within the community. Elders and respected members of the community officiate the event, offering blessings, guidance, and words of wisdom to the initiates. Through these rites of passage, the Dinka instill a sense of responsibility, respect, and duty in their young men. They are taught to embody the values of courage, integrity, and communal harmony. The rites serve not only as a personal transformation, but also as a means of upholding the social fabric and cultural continuity of the Dinka community. The significance of these rites of passage extends beyond the individual. They strengthen the intergenerational bonds as the older members pass on their knowledge and traditions to the younger generation. This cyclical process ensures the preservation of Dinka culture and the perpetuation of their cherished customs. Cattle occupy a central position in the daily life and cultural identity of the Dinka people. These majestic animals are not merely a source of sustenance, but a symbol of wealth, status, and interconnectedness with the natural world. For the Dinka, cattle represent the cornerstone of their livelihood. As transhuman pastoralists, they rely on their herds for sustenance, economic stability, and social cohesion. Cattle provide them with milk, meat, and hides, essential resources that support their dietary needs and material requirements. The Dinka's intricate knowledge of cattle husbandry has been passed down through generations. They possess an intimate understanding of their herds, recognizing individual animals, understanding their behavior, and caring for their well-being. This bond between the Dinka and their cattle goes beyond mere economic exchange and establishes a profound spiritual and emotional connection. Cattle are not viewed as mere possessions, but as companions and partners in the Dinka's nomadic lifestyle. They accompany the Dinka on their seasonal migrations, traversing vast distances in search of grazing lands. The Dinka's ability to navigate and sustain themselves in the challenging environments of the savanna is closely intertwined with their relationship with their cattle. Within Dinka society, the number of cattle a family possesses is an indicator of wealth and social standing. Owning a large herd bestows prestige and influence, allowing families to actively participate in social, economic, and political affairs. Cattle serve as a form of currency, enabling the Dinka to engage in trade, forge alliances, and strengthen communal bonds. Cattle also play a significant role in Dinka ceremonies and rituals. They are offered as sacrifices during religious ceremonies to seek blessings and ensure the favor of the gods and ancestral spirits. The act of sacrificial propitiation is deeply ingrained in the Dinka's spiritual beliefs and serves as a means of maintaining harmony between the human and spiritual realms. The symbolism of cattle extends beyond the material realm. They embody concepts of fertility, abundance, and continuity. Cattle are seen as a source of life, providing sustenance and prosperity to the community. 
Their presence in Dinka culture is a testament to the enduring bond between humans and animals, as well as the resilience and adaptability of the Dinka people. The Dinka people have a rich culinary heritage that reflects their pastoralist lifestyle, resourcefulness, and connection to the land. Dinka cuisine is characterized by its simplicity, reliance on locally available ingredients, and the art of transforming basic elements into nourishing and flavorful meals. The staple food of the Dinka is grain, primarily sorghum and millet. These grains are ground into flour and used to make a variety of dishes such as porridge, bread, and flatbreads. Sorghum and millet provide essential nutrients and are well suited to the climate and growing conditions of the region. One of the most iconic dishes in Dinka cuisine is asida, a thick porridge made from sorghum or millet flour. It is typically served with a sauce or stew made from meat, vegetables, or legumes. Asida is a filling and nutritious meal that provides sustenance to the Dinka people, especially during periods of physical exertion or scarcity. Cattle play a central role in Dinka culture and their cuisine. Milk and dairy products are integral to their diet. Milk is consumed fresh, fermented, or turned into butter. Delele, a fermented milk beverage, is a popular traditional drink among the Dinka, known for its refreshing taste and probiotic properties. Meat, particularly beef, is highly valued in Dinka cuisine. Cattle are an essential part of their livelihood, and their meat is consumed on special occasions, ceremonies, and communal gatherings. The meat is often prepared by grilling, roasting, or stewing, seasoned with local herbs and spices to enhance the flavors. Vegetables and legumes also play a role in Dinka cuisine, although their availability may vary depending on the season and location. Common vegetables include okra, pumpkin, squash, and various greens. Legumes such as beans, lentils, and peanuts are used to add protein and texture to stews and soups. Dinka culinary traditions go beyond the mere act of cooking and eating. Mealtime is a social and communal experience where family members and guests gather together to share food, stories, and laughter. Hospitality is highly valued, and guests are welcomed with open arms and offered the best of what is available. Food preparation and cooking techniques are often passed down through generations, with elder members of the community sharing their knowledge and expertise with younger ones. This ensures the preservation of culinary traditions and the continuation of Dinka culinary heritage. Clothing and adornments hold great cultural significance for the Dinka people, serving as expressions of identity, social status, and artistic creativity. The traditional attire of the Dinka reflects their rich cultural heritage and their deep connection to their land and cattle. One of the distinctive features of Dinka clothing is the use of animal skins and hides. Leather plays a vital role in their traditional garments, as it symbolizes their dependence on cattle and the pastoral way of life. Skins are carefully tanned, treated, and transformed into clothing items such as skirts, vests, and cloaks. Both men and women wear skirts made from animal hides. These skirts, known as thong apor, are intricately decorated with beadwork, cowrie shells, and other embellishments. The patterns and designs on the skirts vary, representing different clans, personal preferences, and aesthetic styles. The skirts not only serve as practical garments, but also carry cultural and symbolic significance. Beadwork is an integral part of Dinka attire and serves as a form of personal adornment. Beads are meticulously threaded and woven into intricate patterns, creating necklaces, bracelets, anklets, and headpieces. The colors and patterns of the beads hold symbolic meanings, representing aspects of Dinka culture, spirituality, and social standing. Headgear is another prominent feature of Dinka attire. Men often wear hats or headpieces made from animal horns, feathers, or woven materials. These headpieces not only provide protection from the sun, but also serve as status symbols and markers of age and social rank. Women, on the other hand, adorn their heads with beautifully crafted hair ornaments and jewelry, enhancing their beauty and femininity. Dinka clothing is not limited to traditional attire alone. Modern influences and changes in lifestyle have introduced new clothing styles, such as Western-style clothing and fabrics. Even with modern adaptations, the Dinka people continue to embrace and incorporate elements of their traditional clothing, ensuring the preservation of their cultural identity. Adornments and clothing choices play a vital role in social interactions and ceremonial events. 
They convey messages about one's age, social status, and clan affiliation, helping to establish and maintain social bonds. They are also essential components of celebrations, rituals, and coming-of-age ceremonies, where individuals proudly display their traditional attire and adornments. The architecture and settlements of the Dinka people are deeply intertwined with their pastoralist lifestyle, natural surroundings, and cultural traditions. Dinka settlements are characterized by their unique design, construction materials, and the symbiotic relationship between humans, cattle, and the environment. The traditional Dinka settlements are composed of clustered homesteads, known as tukuls, which are circular huts made from locally available materials, such as mud, grass, and thatch. These huts are constructed with a framework of wooden poles, which are then covered with mud and thatched roofs. The design of the tukuls allows for natural ventilation and insulation, keeping the interiors cool during hot seasons and warm during colder periods. Each tukul typically serves as a single-family dwelling, accommodating multiple generations under one roof. The size and number of tukuls within a settlement vary depending on the family's social status, wealth, and the number of cattle owned. Wealthier families may have larger settlements with multiple tukuls, while smaller families may have only one or two. The central area of the settlement is often reserved for the luak, an open space used for communal activities, such as social gatherings, ceremonies, and cattle herding. The luak serves as a focal point for community interactions and acts as a meeting place for various social and cultural events. Cattle play a central role in Dinka settlements. The tukuls are strategically positioned to allow easy access to grazing areas for the cattle. The proximity of the homesteads to water sources, such as rivers or watering holes, is also essential for the well-being of both humans and livestock. Dinka settlements are designed to foster a sense of community and cooperation. The close proximity of the tukuls encourages social interaction and facilitates the sharing of resources, knowledge, and support among families. The communal nature of the settlements promotes a strong sense of unity and collective responsibility within the community. In recent years, there have been changes in Dinka settlements due to various factors, including urbanization, modernization, and the impact of conflicts. Some Dinka communities have transitioned to more permanent structures made of brick or concrete, influenced by external architectural styles. The Dinka people celebrate a myriad of festivals and ceremonies throughout the year, marking important milestones, honoring ancestral traditions, and fostering social cohesion within the community. These festivals are vibrant displays of cultural heritage, spiritual beliefs, and communal joy, bringing together people of all ages to participate in rituals, music, dance, and feasting. One of the most significant festivals among the Dinka is the Rainmaker Festival, which is celebrated during the rainy season. This festival is dedicated to invoking the spirits and deities associated with rain and fertility, as rainfall is crucial for the success of their agricultural endeavors and the well-being of their cattle. During the Rainmaker Festival, prayers, dances, and offerings are made to ensure bountiful rains and prosperous harvests. The Cattle Blessing Ceremony is another important celebration in Dinka culture. It is held to honor and bless the cattle, which are considered sacred and a vital source of livelihood for the community. During this ceremony, the cattle are adorned with colorful beads, painted markings, and special ornaments. Ritual dances and songs accompany the ceremony, symbolizing the close bond between humans and cattle. The coming-of-age ceremony holds great significance in Dinka society, marking the transition from adolescence to adulthood. Young boys and girls undergo rites of passage, which include a period of seclusion, instruction in cultural values, and physical tests of endurance. Upon completion, a celebratory ceremony takes place, where the initiates are recognized as adults and are welcomed into the community with joyous festivities. Music and dance play a central role in Dinka festivals and celebrations. The beating of drums, the rhythmic sounds of traditional instruments such as the tom, nuar, and quar fill the air, setting the tempo for lively dances. The Dinka people, dressed in their vibrant traditional attire, form circles and perform energetic dances, accompanied by songs that recount their history, express joy, and invoke blessings. 
Feasting is an integral part of Dinka festivals and celebrations. Traditional dishes such as acida, grilled meat, and a variety of stews are prepared in abundance. Families and neighbors come together to share meals, fostering a sense of unity, generosity, and communal harmony. These festivals and celebrations serve as important occasions for the Dinka people to reconnect with their cultural roots, reinforce their social bonds, and express their gratitude for the blessings of life. They are a time of joy, reflection, and renewal, where the community comes together to honor their shared heritage and embrace the values that have sustained them for generations. In recent years, efforts have been made to preserve and promote Dinka festivals and celebrations, not only within the local communities, but also on a broader platform. Cultural festivals and events showcase the rich traditions, music, dances, and culinary delights of the Dinka people, fostering cross-cultural understanding and appreciation. With this newfound understanding, let us embrace the spirit of unity, diversity, and cultural appreciation as we navigate our own paths, inspired by the timeless traditions and enduring spirit of the Dinka people. Hata ni ngene ne kwa luha. Zawati.